Hi, welcome back. I'm so excited and just honored to get to introduce you to this next guest, Dr. Daniel Sanchez. Like I mentioned earlier, he was the first Hispanic professor at Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary. He serves currently as a professor of intercultural studies at Southwestern, and we are just so honored. He's an expert in um, in intercultural dynamics and missionary studies and there's just so much there's there's not much that he has not done and God has given him such incredible opportunities so welcome Dr. Sanchez thank you for being here with us Absolutely. we want to start off um, really asking you about resilience and what uh, Luke 10 27 says about loving the entire uh, loving the Lord with the entirety of our minds yes. what that means to you personally uh, well it means to me Andrea that um uh, getting an education is really part of our stewardship before mm -hmm. the Lord, that He has given us a body, a mind, and a spirit. That's right. We need to love the Lord with our full uh, personality, mm -hmm. so to speak, our, our full person, but quite often we neglect the mind. Mm -hmm. uh, and here's where it's important for us to, to teach this uh, in our churches and in, in our homes also. Mm -hmm. I think parents get concerned if their children are not growing physically. Mm -hmm. and they take them to a doctor. What about spiritually? And oh. then what about intellectually That's also? Right. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of stewardship then for us to fully develop uh, to be better servants for the Lord. Goodness, yeah. that really struck me. Are we mm -hmm. neglecting? I think that's a good question for each of us to yes, be asking. Are right. we neglecting right. our minds yes, that, uh -huh. that God has called us to and that it's a stewardship issue? Exactly. That's fantastic. Well, we want to talk about resilience a little bit. And mm -hmm. um, before we got started, you shared with us that you kind of have an interesting story. And we know that yes. you have a, a doctorate and that your, your PhD is in? Uh, in from Oxford in, in, Oxford. in, wow. in theological studies. Wow, uh -huh. from Oxford. So... Uh, so help us to know what your what your story was and how you got there. What's your journey? Uh, actually, uh, I dropped out of school after I finished uh, middle school, and mainly because we were a large family and uh, had a lot of financial needs. Uh, in fact, uh, we had gone as migrant workers following the crops all the way to Mich Michigan. Mm. I had uh, skipped school and had to really struggle to make it through, uh, even uh, through middle school. Mm -hmm. So I dropped out and I got a job at a meat market. Uh, and my job was to carry chunks of meat, hindquarters and, and, and forequarters of, of, of cattle. Mm -hmm. um, and at, in the morning, they would issue me a, a white robe that would put on. By the afternoon, the robe was covered with blood. Mm -hmm. you know? And one day, I just happened to see myself in, in, in uh, the reflection of a glass door. And I said to myself, is this what I want to do the rest of my life? Mm -hmm. I had felt that God had been calling me uh, to, to ministry. Uh, but I had wanted to just do the best I could to help my family. So that night, I don't mind telling you, I, I actually cried before the Lord, and I said, Lord, if you would open a door uh, for me to get an education, I'll do it. Well, I got an invitation to go to the Valley Baptist Academy. So I was 20 years old. Mm -hmm. I went to start the 10th grade. There, finished uh, high school in two years, taking uh, summer classes, mm -hmm. finished as valedictorian of my class. Wow. And uh, then I went on to, to college and um, got all kinds of honors, National Honor Society, um, and, and so on. And from there on then, uh, I felt that, uh, that uh, the Lord was guiding me to not only get an education for myself, right. but then to... Uh, to try to help others, and this is why I'm so passionate about it. Uh, and you know, I've been teaching there at Southwestern for 32 years, mm -hmm. so I've gone through a, a lot of graduations. Mm -hmm. But every time I put on this silk robe for graduation, mm -hmm. I never forget the other one. Right. Wow. And I thank the Lord for what He did um, in, in guiding me then to, to get an education so that I could help other people. Mm. Uh, and that has been my passion then uh, all of these years. So often when a student is struggling, uh, I'm right there to help them mm. because I just know that I could be right there had it not been for 
uh, for the grace of God. Wow. Um, the church was very supportive. And, and this leads me then to, to think of what churches can do to be supportive. Mm. Um, we've already mentioned, for example, that even from the pulpit, it ought to be stressed that uh, it's part of our stewardship to develop our, ourselves. Right. Now, what if uh, at the dedication of a baby, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. uh, they usually will give them a Bible, and it's a beautiful uh, ceremony, why not take an offering to start a scholarship fund mm. see, for that baby? It would communicate to the family, see, uh, and mm. to the church mm. that we're anticipating this child to keep right on going, mm -hmm. see, and, and developing his or her mm -hmm. uh, talents. Um, the churches then ought to do everything they can to encourage young people to stay in school. I found a church that I was very uh, impressed with that on Wednesday nights, then they have a brief Bible study and then study hall mm. for the, 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 the children and, and young people. They help them with homework, wow. see? And by doing this, they are mm. uh, stressing the fact that education is very, very uh, important to them. Uh, churches that have youth ministers uh, are better able to help uh, young people. Right. Mm -hmm. And so even making the, the effort to do uh, this could be uh, very helpful. I've also found churches that declare their community a no drop out community. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, See? Yeah. Uh, and they work with the school systems mm -hmm. to, to help the young people in that community mm -hmm. not to drop out. Now, it is wonderful that the dropout rate uh, ha has dropped significantly. Right. It's now only 15%, where it, as years ago, it used to be 50%. Uh, so that has dropped uh, tremendously. The, the number of young people graduating, Hispanic young people graduating from high school now is at 76%. Mm. Mm. It used to be, you know, 50% right. just a number of years ago. So we're seeing then a great uh, emphasis on, on education, but the church needs to be uh, right there with them, working with uh, the community, uh, and, and then also with the parents, mm -hmm. uh, because again, this has to be uh, instilled uh, upon them mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, that they need to develop uh, their talents that God has given them uh, to be of much better service for uh, the community and for people around them. Guys, oh, that's so powerful. awesome. Mm. I know we have about a minute left. Uh -huh. And you've talked about how the community, yes. the church, yes. and the parents uh -huh. can all be involved in, in the child right. and preparing them up. Do you have uh, maybe a, a parting word of encouragement, yes, uh -huh. uh, sir, just to the family and the parents? Yes, uh, I would say, you know, to the family, uh, you know, don't give up. Mm -hmm. um, and, and just think of the fact that your children uh, could, could develop their talents and, and be doctors and lawyers and so on. Mm. I remember uh, a pastor uh, said to some people, in my church I've got doctors and lawyers and educators and so on. And somebody laughed and said, what do you mean you just have children? He said, well, not yet. Mm. <laughs> he That's said, great. but just give me time. <laughs> yeah. yes. And I think That's if great. the parents have this kind of a vision, See, that their children will be doctors and lawyers and educators and, 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 and um, uh, many different uh, types of, of uh, vocations and so on, but developing uh, their talents. Uh, and, and I think the children pick up on this, Absolutely. see? Yeah. And if they do, then it'll become a reality. Absolutely. Thank you so much for this time. We could, we could keep talking, and, but yes. really honored yes. to have you on, you. on board. And, and thank you for that wonderful message of encouragement. Well, my right, right now, we have uh, a message of encouragement for you. And this is another way that you and your church could get involved. Watch this.